Gong community, what is up? You have Brian Lamana here over at Gong, of course. I'm a strategic mid-market account executive, and today I'm going to highlight my sales superpower, which is using forecasting to not only deliver an accurate forecast for my leadership and my team, but help me get in front of where there's risk within my deals and action on them as well so I can influence the outcome of my actual forecast. So what you can see here as a rep, I'm gonna go into this forecasting module. Here I'm Alex Castillo. Prior to using Gong's forecasting, I would just update like a forecast category in Salesforce. It didn't help me visualize where there was risk within my deals or snapshot week over week, track my accuracy, things like that. Gong does all of that automatically for us. What I can see here, I've closed 91K on the month. That's great. I have 300K as a target pretty darn high target, and I'm at 30% so far. My pipeline coverage, 4.2X. You always wanna have 3X plus coverage. My goal personally is 5X plus, so I'm gonna kinda of take a mental note. Hey, need to get back on that prospecting train, need to get after it. And then here's my forecast calls. These are customizable to each company, but for us, it's commit most likely in best case. So what I'll do as a wrap, I'll actually click into that commit. I can see my notes from last week. So I'm talking through like what pilots we have going on, what future pilots, some notes with some high confidence deals that my leadership can see as well. But what's most important here is I can see my call and the deals that underlie this call so that I can actually make sure that I'm giving an accurate number to my team and my leadership. So I see I have Credax, I have Bitforge and Aventine. The ones in green are ones I've already closed, which is great for me. And I can also see things like the amount on the right. So or Bitforge, it looks like is 560K. This is a critical deal for me. And Gong's telling me it doesn't feel too good about this deal. It's giving me a pretty low health score. This health score is actually based on 300 different signals. It's looking at the actual conversation. So not just like, were there emails? Were there calls? Is it moving stages in CRM? It's looking at what is being said on emails, in conversations, and the actual sentiment going back and forth. What I can now see is Gong will say, hey, pop the hood. Here's why that score is so low. We've had negative sentiment in email. Oh yeah, I forgot about that. I'm managing so many deals. We've been stuck single threaded and I'm not actually even at power. I don't have a director involved. Gong will tell me, hey, here's my active contacts. Here's who's actively engaged. And then here's my full activity feed. So I no longer feel great about that deal. Fine, Gong, you're right. I'm gonna lower my call, say I'd lower it to 150. I could hit save there and then it'll update and it'll timestamp. So all of that's pretty simple and straightforward, but I'm not gonna stop there. I wanna action on this deal now, right? My 556K, 560K, whatever it is, is at risk and I wanna fix it, right? So I'm gonna go into Gong's deal boards and this pipeline view. Again, it's sorting by my largest deals, right? This one at the top, Bitforge, it has an outsized impact. Gong scanning my calendar. It's saying there's no next meeting that I have scheduled on the books. That's a problem. Again, I'm only talking with Mike and here's where the deal is at risk. So what I do as a rep is I'm gonna click in and say, hey, tell me a little bit more, right? I'm missing a director, here's the red flag. So just as an example here, I can go in and say, hey, where was that red flag again? Which email or call did Gong pick up? Gong is telling me, hey, Mike sent you this email. You know, there's been a several shifts in priorities. We feel like there might have to be a delay here. That's not good. I can actually action off the email right here. I can also go into contacts and say, hey, I'm just gonna pick up the phone. Mike sent me that note. I'm gonna give him a call, right? That's the best thing to do. I'm gonna call him right here and I can action on all of that in one place. The other thing I might do is I might highlight back to those warnings and say, hey, I'm stuck single threaded and I also don't have a director involved. Tells me I can maybe knock out two birds with one stone there. I should go higher in the organization, right? Is there a VP? Is there a C-suite? Is there at least a director that I can get involved? I can toggle to these contacts here. It'll tell me who's been involved in the past. Doesn't look like anyone high up. Gong will also recommend me contacts below. And I can see, hey, maybe I should get security or the VP of sales or somebody else looped in. So as an example, I see, hey, I wanna reach out to Alan. That'd be a great person to target. I can pull up their sales nav profile from one view. But what I'm actually gonna do is I'm gonna add Alan to a flow so that I can action off them like a sequence. So I can send him a note, I can call him, I can send him a LinkedIn message and, and action on all of that. So I'll hit add to flow right there. And then what I'll see is that when I go into engage in those to do's, it's gonna live right in there under Bitforge and that deal pretending like I chose Nader instead who looks like he's in customer success or leadership. I can see my task is right here ready to go. 
now I can write my email, I can action off him and say, hey, I've actually been you know, talking with Mike, who's a solution architect, you know, here's where he shared there was value. Fire that email off and it's a really great way to multi-thread and attack your accounts and attack where there's risk within your pipeline and within those forecasts that you're gonna build off of. That's how I can do everything within one platform here where I can submit my forecast call with confidence. I can inspect those deals and understand where Gong believes there's risk within my deals and then attack that risk via actually actioning on it, sending them emails, giving them a call, multi-threading it, getting wider, getting higher so I can get that deal back on track and hopefully on a strong path to close.